Today I'm going to give you a little bit of a rundown um, of Linux, Ubuntu Linux to be more exact. I uh, give you kind of my opinions on it and all that good stuff. Um, first of all, um, as far as why I prefer Ubuntu over the other versions of Linux such as Red Hat and SUSE. Um, one, uh, Red Hat used to be my favorite but uh, they've now gone kind of more towards like a private, you know, you pay us or else kind of thing, or else you don't use us. Um, so I really haven't bothered with Red Hat since they've gone and done that, because I don't think, uh, at least in my opinion, I don't think Linux is really all that great of a desktop operating system. Uh, it's more for servers, in my opinion. Um, it's very great for a server operating system desktop stuff, uh, browse the web, um, check your email, and you can do some, you know, nice cool networking tools. Um, that's not something I'm going to pay for. <laughs> um, there's not a lot of really high-end video editing software, things like that for it, so it's it doesn't appeal to me in that regard. Um, it's it's more like a tool for me. Um, I put on a live CD. I go through, start a system up off of it, recover files if I need to. Um, I install it on a virtual machine, put it on something, uh, start it up, and I can run networking tools when I need it. It's not something I'm going to use every day. Um, as far as why I prefer Ubuntu over SUSE, uh, it's still because of the free thing. Um, you can go through by the nice full version of SUSE Linux, S-U-S-E, I'm not sure if I'm pronunciating it right, but uh, if you get the free version, it doesn't have a lot of stuff with it, so you spend a whole bunch of time installing all this extra stuff just so you can kind of get down to doing what you want to do. Um, if you want to just browse the web, check email, yeah, the free SUSE version comes with that, you're good to go, but if you do a lot of special networking tools and little recovery things like I do with it it's it's more of a waste of time so that's you know the big reason why I prefer Ubuntu uh, on top of that it seems to have a little bit better driver support uh, than the other guys haven't even fooled around with Red Hat like I was saying since they've switched um, to the kind of bias now thing but uh, I've had issues with SUSE Linux not uh, really installing on virtual machines. I mean I can get to install but it's I gotta kinda jump through some hoops and do a lot of eye squinting to make it work. So uh, that's why I prefer Ubuntu over the other Linux distributions. Now as far as Linux compared to let's say Windows uh, <clears throat> as far as uh, that goes, sorry I got choked up there um, a lot of things are similar. Um, if you want to go through and get used to it, your windows basically work the same. Minimize, maximize, close. You open up something, it goes down to the bottom left. Um, something you're not going to see in windows versus um, the, well, that you'll see in Mac, uh, in Mac and Linux. <laughs> um, and not in windows is multiple desktops have this little thing down at the bottom right um, you can go through and configure this to have more but you can basically switch between them and you'll notice down here how my taskbar um, as you'd call it in Windows doesn't have um, Firefox then everybody switch the other one you can see it um, try to remember what the Mac feature is called for that um, I want to say it's related to expose I can't think of it at the moment I'll remember it when I don't want to I'll probably put it as an annotation or something but uh, that generally works the same um, the file explorer uh, you got you know see your file system root is basically the same as your C drive if you want to think of it that way um, bin would be like your program files uh, home is like your documents and settings folder um, etc is one of those weird folders where it depends on each distribution what's going to be in there um, sometimes I see programs get installed in here 
sometimes it's scheduled tasks, sometimes it's just support files, uh, sometimes it's all of the above. Um, so trying to define what etc is is kind of hard to do. Um, dev is usually for you know devices, uh, you know system buses, disks, input outputs, all that good stuff. You shouldn't have to fool around with that if you're a beginner. Um, that's the gist of all of your um, folders there. Um, as far as what uh, most Linux distributions come with, uh, you're going to have at least a web browser. Um, it's a standard for any operating system these days. Um, basic programs, calculator, DVD burning, um, a print manager, all that stuff. Um, as far as driver support, uh, you want to go through and uh, go ahead and try starting up uh, a Linux Live CD on your system before you even install it. Uh, you know, go to ubuntu.com and download the latest uh, version of it. Burn the ISO image to a CD. Start your system off of it, and if you can start up, fine. No weird errors. No problems rendering things. You can see your hard drive, all that good stuff. Chances are, it's going to work perfectly fine for you. Um, if you go through and um, have trouble if it's starting up, you can't see the graphics, it doesn't detect everything, you plug in USB devices, they don't show up, uh, your hardware is probably going to be a little funky and doesn't have full support for it. Um, so yeah, definitely start with a live CD um, before you even think about just you know completely loading it up. Um, if you are seriously thinking about switching over to Linux full time. Um, what I say anytime you want to do that is kind of have another hard drive. This is kind of like the easy way of doing it. <laughs> um, you know, get a small hard drive, a cheap one. You can buy one, you know, like even a just a hundred gig or a forty gig one off of uh, Newegg or somewhere, and you know, take your old drive out put this one in, install Linux to it, and use it for a week. You know, if you can't, you know, live with certain applications, you know, make a note of which applications you really need, and, you know, try and find a Linux equivalent form. Uh, Microsoft Office, for example, uh, great Linux uh, version you can use is uh, OpenOffice. Uh, works you know just as good if not better in some cases um, it's free it's available on Windows Linux and Mac so I mean it got great support there um, I don't like evolution email I use Thunderbird um, but if you have some things like uh, Microsoft Outlook on the PC you might have some difficulty getting used to some lack of features you know so it's one of those things you gotta kinda adjust to in that regard. Um, gaming pretty much really doesn't exist on Linux. Um, if you're going to try it, install a virtual machine and uh, install your Windows games there. Or um, another thing you can do is get um, basically like Windows emulation software like Wine. I do believe, I uh, can't remember where it's at. Um, Ubuntu does come with a uh, wine emulator already installed of course I can't find it when I want it um, <laughs> can't find it but I'm pretty sure it's in here uh, I'll find it when I don't want it <laughs> but you can either download it either way and uh, install wine on your uh, Linux distribution and you can basically run um, it's probably under software support center uh, for running Windows programs under Linux. It's like an emulator, so to say. So you can go through, find all that good stuff. Yeah, you should be able to do a search in there and find it. But, uh, yeah, in general, it does the same things Windows does, all that good stuff. Um, it just, you gotta get used to different applications for it. 
and some things like gaming are non-existent on Linux. Um, make sure your devices do support Linux. Make sure your printers are going to work with it. Um, sound cards, things like that. Um, also be aware that the latest drivers aren't always going to be available for uh, Linux. So sometimes you have to wait a little while before you can get the latest and greatest to uh, resolve an issue. And sometimes driver support isn't there at all, unfortunately. Third party uh, network cards, things like that. So uh, that's it. That's my quick rundown for Linux. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And if you got any questions, uh, post a response and I'll do an install video for Linux as well for you um, coming up soon. So I'll see you later.